When strange stone structures are found, the first explanation is always the same. Nature did it. That assumption held for decades across parts of Russia, where reports described massive above-ground stone formations and long tunnels cut through solid rock. They were labeled erosion, glacial debris, mining remnants. Case closed. Then people started measuring. In Karelia, sites like Mount Vodavara contain enormous stone blocks, balanced, stacked, and fractured along repeating angles. From a distance, it looks natural. Up close, the geometry becomes uncomfortable. Stones sit where gravity does not help them. Fracture lines repeat. Underground, in parts of the Urals and the Kola region, explorers documented tunnels with smooth walls, consistent widths, and deliberate turns. Some run too straight. Others change direction too cleanly. These are not caves shaped by water. They do not match known mining methods either. No inscriptions explain them. No civilization claims them. No legends even try. The default answer remained natural until instruments entered the picture. Laser scans, angle measurements, load estimates. Once that happened, the conversation changed, not to certainty, to doubt. The point is not that we know who built these structures. We do not. The point is that assuming nature without measuring is not science. It is comfort. Like a quiet opponent who absorbs doubt without response, these structures waited. When finally tested, they answered without words, with mathematics.